Hey guys, Strike Ten Leader here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to re-edit my video for how to put Game Boy Advance ROMs on your iPod Touch. Uh, due to that, I forgot to put in the Game Boy uh, BIOS file, and just to make this a little bit more clear. First off, we want to open up our Internet Explorer and go to n-dash-dot-dash-roms.com. Once you've opened up that, we're going to click down on GBA Game Boy Advance. Once you click on that, you'll click on the numbered GBA releases. This will actually put everything in order for you. Once we've clicked on that, click down on the region once, twice. This way USA will pop up. Choose whatever one you want. Uh, we'll just do this one for today. Gambling pack. You can see it will actually show a picture of the uh, file and there will be two downloadables. Mirror 1, Mirror 2. Mirror 1 will be a uh, rapid share. Mirror 2 will be um, mega upload. So we'll click on this. Once this loads up, you're going to look immediately to the top here and then type in the code given. And once you have that, just click on download. You'll have to wait the 45 seconds. Now, as that's going on, on my other screen here. I'm using Qt FTP Pro for my downloadable, uh, for my program to connect to. So I'm going to connect to my iPod here. You want to make sure your iPod is on and connect to your internet. So I'm just going to leave that over there. And good. You'll know you're connected to your iPod when you see this right here. When you see that these You'll see the library and all that stuff. Five more seconds. Down here is the description of exactly what you are downloading. Now, once it says free download, click on it. The screen will pop up. You can disregard that. This is what's more important. Save to disk. These aren't very large files. When it's downloading, you will end up with this file right here. It'll be the name of the file that you have. Just a couple more seconds here. Good. Now that's all done. Now what we're going to do, we're going to extract this file. And I'm going to extract it here just to make things nice and simple. And this is what you will come out with. This right here. This is the actual Game Boy Advance file. Now, what I have to explain to you guys now is the uh, is where the um, Game Boy BIOS file is, which is a little bit different. And that is actually, which I will put in my description, but we need this, the Game Boy Advanced BIOS file. So we're going to click on that. Open up to Rapid Share. Go to Free. Type in the code. Save to disk. Done. Already downloaded. Good. Now that we have the BIOS file right there, we have to put that onto our iPod Touch. So we're going to open up our Qt FTP here, or whatever you said. Okay, now that we are in Qt FTP Pro, make sure once again we are connected to the iPod and that your iPod is on and connected to your internet. Oops. Just, you know. As you guys know, the little wireless symbol. And also, to show you guys that this does work in 1.1.3. There you go, it's 1.1.3. So, regardless uh, what you have, this is the same process for any of them. Now, as I was saying, we are here in the QFTV Pro. We are going to go 
as you're here, you can just backspace yourself all the way till you see that right there, just the backslash. That lets you know that you are at the top of it. From there, we are going to go into applications. We're going to scroll down to where it says GPS phone. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this GBA BIOS file and drop it onto here. And once that's dropped onto there, <coughs> there'll be a little uh, notice down here telling you that it's downloaded. Once you've done that, we're going to back out of that again. And where you guys have to go now, under your private, var, root, we're going to go into our, so once again, that's private var root, go under media, you will, may have to create this. So create a folder that's typed exactly as it is, R-O-M, small s. Then create a folder called GBA. Like I say again, create it if it's not there. Once you have that, you can see these are the games I already have in there. We're going to take our new game. Remember, it's always the one with the little white, not the extract. And drop it on down. Now here's my progress meter down here. And you can see it's taking the progress, where it's coming from, where it's going, start time, elapsed, what's left, speed, the whole deal. Once this is all done, my suggestion is always just put your uh, click, uh, reset your springboard and then you should be good to go. Uh, when, when the process down here is completed, you can just close the Qt FTP and we'll wait for this one to download and then what we basically do is when we go to your iPod remember um, you download from installer the key is putting the BIOS file in first and that's the biggest key to doing this first we're at 95 okay so we're going to turn that off turn it back on unlock okay here we are GPS phone And there we are, right here, two and one games. So that'll be there. If this is uh, confusing at all, or if anything is still not quite sure on uh, how you wanted this to work or whatever, by all means, please leave me comments, email me. I'll do my very best to make sure I give you guys the best videos possible. Remember, again, I can't take credit for this. These are the people on YouTube that have helped me out. So make sure you're donating to the right people. Um, if there is a donation you guys want to make to me, by all means, I'd be happy to accept. There's plenty of videos that I, I would like to make for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to make those videos for you. Uh, thanks again, you guys.